Welcome to my channel. This is Franco Pantaleon. In this video, I will show you how to locate centroids using the method of composite areas. So to locate for the mass center coordinates, we have this formula here. So to determine x bar, the distance of the location of our centroid along our x axis as designated by this formula we have this equation summation of m x bar over the summation of m <coughs> now x bar is simply equal to for this segment number one with m1 we have m1 times x1 plus segment number 2 m2 times x2 plus For segment number 3 we have n3 times x3 all over the summation of the masses of individual segments so we have m1 plus m2 plus m3 so that is how we interpret this formula now if we wanted to locate the location of our centroid along the y and z axis we simply do the similar calculations as illustrated in this formula here. Now for plane areas, we simply have this equation. We have summation of A, X sub C over summation of A. Where E here, our, our considered element is this. And we sum all moment of the different segments considered time all over the summation of the total area. Now for y bar, we have similar formula. So again, we have A, the area of this element, times the centroid of that particular element being considered. And we sum all of the moment of our areas all over the total area of our object so we still have similar formula for centroids of irregular volume now take note a times delta x is our volume and x sub c is the location of our centroid or of the element being considered so, the formula is just similar. It is still the moment of our volume, the summation of the moment of the individual volume all over the summation of the total volume. It is also very important prior to solving any problems involving uh, composite areas you need to be very familiar with the centroids of common plane areas so in this example for triangle the location of r centroid with respect to this axis here is simply equal to this corresponding formula and with respect to this 
with respect to the y axis considering the height we have y bar is equals to h over 3 and the area of course is 1 half base times height now we will have our illustrative example locate the centroid of the plate area so we have here our irregular shape plate the dimensions are this is 3 meters the total height is 1 plus 2 is 3 meters and we're given these corresponding dimensions so we'll solve this problem and locate the centroid but prior to that we are going to set up this table here so we will prepare one two three four five six columns six columns column number one for our segment column number two for our area three for our x bar so on and so forth <coughs> now take note that this object can be represented by this object here so what we have here is this element number one segment number one plus segment number two and we subtract our segment number three such that we will have this equivalent shape here <coughs> okay so for segment number one the area of our triangle is one half our base is three and our height is three so this is equal to 4.5 and our x bar we have b divided by 3 is equals to 3 over 3 is equal to 1 so we have 1 now our, for our y bar the location of our centroid is h over 3 3 over 3 this is still equal to 1 so we have 1 here now x bar times a is 4.5 times 1 we have 4.5 and y bar times a again this is 4.5 and by the way we have these positive signs here simply because these are x is to the right with respect to this axis and our y is to upwards with respect to this axis now for segment number two the area of our segment number two since this is a square we have three times three is equal to nine and the location of our centroid now the distance x with respect to this axis we have negative 1.5 since it is to the left with respect to this axis here so we have negative 1.5 since this is our origin and our y bar since this is above it is positive 1.5 So we have x bar times a is negative 1 negative 1.5 times 9 is negative 13.5 and we have positive 13.5 okay for segment number 3 take note that we need to subtract the segment number 3 so we will designate this as negative area so we have the dimension of our 
segment number 3 is 2 by 1 meters so we have negative 2 times 1 which is equal to the area is negative 2 since this is R this rectangle is the dimension is we have the height of 2 and with the width of 1 meter so our area is negative 2 now our the distance x with respect to this the origin is negative 2.5 since it is to the left so this is negative 2.5 and our y bar is considering this element is 2 meters since it is above this reference axis here we have 2 okay so our x bar times a is negative 2 times negative 2.5 is 5 and negative 2 times 4 for our y bar a is negative 4 so we will now take the summation summation a is equal to adding these numbers we have 11.5 and our summation a x bar is equal to adding these numbers together we have negative 4 and for this we have the summation of a y bar we adding adding these numbers we have 14 okay so our x bar is equal to the summation of a x bar over summation of a our summation of a x bar is negative 4 and summation of our area is 11.5 which is equal to negative 0 0.348 meters and for our y bar we have summation of a y bar over the summation of area is equal to this value here 14 over 2 11.5 we have 1 point positive 1 point 22 meters so these are our location of our centroids Locate the location of our centroids we have negative 0.348 so to the left negative 0.348 and 1.22 so somewhere here so this is now the location of our centroid for this particular object so these are our answers that's it if you like the content of this video click like and subscribe and thank you for listening bye bye